approximately 20 minutes into the freeze cycle, we have a minus four degree uh, vapor saturated. Cube size is good. You can tell by removing this panel and then you can put your finger right up in there and you can see that we have good frost across all of our tubes. So the good cube formation along with our good operating pressures indicate that the only problem we have going on here is with the water bleeding by causing the float sensor to not drop enough in order to initiate a harvest which is causing the long freeze cycle. That along with the warmer temperature of the water because of the trickle by of the water valve and I'm getting ready to clean the coil as well as replace the water valve which again is the front and center water valve. The replacement looks like this with normal threads on one side for the water inlet and then a compression fitting for your water outlet. Your spade terminals for your incoming 24 volts go up and into the upper housing and this bracket is attached to this valve by loosening two of these screws and sliding it underneath the screw heads and then you tighten it back down to maintain your watertight seal.